The larger ships or the smaller ships? That is the question of the day. In a few years, this choice will become a little bit simpler, but for now, Disney has four cruise ships. Two larger ones, the Dream and the Fantasy, and two smaller ones, the Magic and the Wonder. I have had the opportunity to experience both classes of Disney ships, the larger ones and the smaller ones, and in today's video, I'm going to go over some of those key differences and tell you which one I prefer at the moment. Let's start with the numbers first, and the larger Disney ships are 40% bigger than the smaller ones, and you can tell the difference the moment you step on board. The Dream and Fantasy are 1,115 feet long, 217 feet tall, and weigh a whopping 130,000 tons each. The Magic and Wonder, the smaller Disney ships, by comparison are 934 feet long, 171.5 feet tall, and 84,000 tons. Although the difference is only 181 feet in length and 45.5 five feet in height, the difference between the two classes is striking. Along with the size differences in terms of the length and height, the Dream and the Fantasy have 16 decks, while the Magic and the Wonder only have 11. The biggest difference to me are the number of guests on board with you. The larger ships can accommodate 4,000 guests per voyage, while the smaller ships, the Magic and the Wonder, can only accommodate 2,713. That's a difference of 1,287 guests on board with you. If you've been on both classes of ships, you know what a difference this is. The number of guests on board with you doesn't just translate to the number of people you see in the lobby atrium and in the hallways throughout the ship, but also at destinations like a Castaway Key. The difference that you can feel on Castaway Key between the two different classes of ships does depend on where you are on Castaway Key. But that being said, no matter where you are, you will feel at least some of a difference, whether it's the Family Beach, Serenity Bay, or even the character meet and greet spot. And let's not forget, when you're on board the Dream or the Fantasy, there's still only that one ice cream distribution area, two main entrances for the Walt Disney Theater, three restaurants, yes, they are more accommodating, but that's 1,287 more guests potentially that could be in these hallways with you. Moving past the crowds between the two classes of ships, let's talk about the amenities. The two larger ships are the more recent ones, meaning a more in-depth theme, slightly larger rooms, better lounges, pools, and more. From the aqueduct slide that goes around the outside of the ship, to the Skyline Lounge with views of cities all around the world, to the youth clubs, and even those jacuzzis with views of the sea, there is a lot to be said for those larger ships. And let's not forget about the Midship Detective Agency, which is a game you can play on board the larger ships where you kind of hunt around looking for artwork and then the artwork interacts with you. I haven't had the opportunity to try it. I should have done it on the Dream, but I didn't try it yet. Next time, we're definitely trying it. At the time of filming, my favorite amenities that are exclusive to the larger class ships are those ocean view jacuzzis and the aqueduct. The aqueduct is definitely one of a kind and sitting in those jacuzzis looking out onto the sea that is a memory that I truly hold on to. I love it. Another big difference between the two different classes is the senses spa and salon. On the magic and the wonder it's nice but not that elaborate. On the dream and fantasy they took it to the next level. My favorite part the Rainforest Room. I love the Rainforest Room on the Disney Dream. It is an unbelievable experience. The problem is I went to that Rainforest Room first and then I went to the Rainforest Room on the Wonder, which is a, it's not even fair to compare them. You don't want to compare those. If you want to try them both, try the Magic and Wonders Rainforest Room first and then go on the Dream and Fantasy because once you experience the Dream and Fantasy's Rainforest Room with those views out onto the ocean and your own private jacuzzis with those views, it's beyond compare. And then you won't want to go back to the Rainforest Room on the magic or the wonder like me right now. Now we come to the dining and the experience is rather similar between all of the different ships except for two major differences, the theming of certain restaurants and the addition of Remy. Every ship in the fleet has at least one unique themed restaurant. For example, Tiana's Place, one of my personal favorites, on the wonder cannot be found on any other cruise ship in the fleet. In addition, the larger ships also have Remy, which is a signature service dining location only found on the dream and fantasy at the time of filming. It does cost more to go there, but given our experiences at Palo, I would not hesitate to at least give it a try. In addition to those themed dining locations like Tiana's Place and Rapunzel's Royal Table and the Royal Court and the Royal Palace, the Disney Dream also has a very unique ice cream shop called Vanellope's Sweet Treats. I wish we had tried this on our family adventure, but I missed it. Next time. Next time. 
All four of the ships feature animators Palette, Palo, Ice Cream, the ice cream distribution location, and Cabanas, the counter service, all you can eat buffet found at the rear of the ship. Another difference between all of the ships is that they feature different shows in the Walt Disney Theater each night. You can see a show you've never seen before on another Disney cruise ship that's exclusive to this one ship, and they change them quite a bit. One concern I've heard from friends in our community revolves around the older ship. The question usually goes, if I try one of the newer ships and and then go to one of the older ships, will it hurt my view of the older ships that were built in the 1990s? The answer, surprisingly, is no. And how do I know this? Well, I did it. I know it may seem weird and even hard to believe if you've never been on board before, but minus some of those extra amenities, the older ships feel just as updated as the new ones. Inside the staterooms, in the dining locations, looking from the outside, from the lobby atrium, wherever you are looking at a Disney cruise ship, it looks super modern totally clean and like it could have been built a few years ago. I actually asked my dad while we were on board the Disney Wonder, Disney's oldest cruise ship, how old he thought the ship was. And he commented, he said he knows it's a little bit older, but looking at it right now, he said if I told him it was built a few years ago, he would have believed me. The reason for this is that Disney keeps their ships ship shape, pun intended. There's no rust, no paint peeling, no dust, no dirt, no grime, nothing. Disney keeps this ship in such good condition, I think it really separates it from other cruise lines in the industry. That being said, I have never been on another cruise line ship before. I've only been on Disney Cruise, so this is just what I've heard. So if I don't consider the age of the ship when I'm thinking about Disney Cruises, what do I consider? Well, then we come to itineraries. At the time of filming, the larger ships, the Dream and the Fantasy, stick to the Caribbean and Bohemian Cruises out of Port Canaveral. The smaller ships, they also do those round trip Caribbean and Bohemian Cruises, but they also go to other places. The Magic does a few Canadian Canadian and European cruises, and the Wonder goes through the Panama Canal for a Panama Canal cruise, goes to Alaska, which is on my list, the Pacific Coast, and from time to time, Hawaiian cruises. So now for the moment of truth. Which size ship do I prefer, the smaller ones or the larger ones? At the time of filming, we've had the opportunity to experience the dream and the wonder. Once we try the fantasy and the magic, I'll have to make an update to this video and let you know how I feel. But if you consider the exact same cruise with the same itinerary, same times of year, same weather, which ship would I choose between the larger and the smaller ones? I'll probably choose the smaller ones. Whoa, wait a minute, Michael. I saw your Dream vs. Wonder video you made months ago, and in that video, you said you preferred the Dream. So what changed? Dream or Wonder, which would I pick? It would have to be, drum roll, please. The dream. Honestly, after experiencing the cruise ships more and more, the fact that you have 1,287 fewer guests on board with you was the real difference maker for me. Before the father-son very merry time cruise, I really didn't appreciate the difference in crowds, but after experiencing the smaller ships more and more and seeing less crowds everywhere, I really feel like the smaller ships are at least more appealing at the moment. Now, does that mean I'm not looking forward to going back on the dream or experiencing the fantasy for the very first time in the future? No way. I am truly looking forward to stepping back on the larger Disney cruise ships in the future, playing the midship detective agency, those side view jacuzzis out into the water, the rainforest room, the different dining experiences, the different shows, and so much more. And who knows, once I try the Disney fantasy in the future, my opinion about this might change again. You never know. And let's not forget, Disney's working on three brand new ships right now, which are going to be a little bit larger than the Dream and the Fantasy, but carry the exact same number of guests. So that's going to be another amazing experience in the future. Those are my thoughts about the differences between the larger ships and the smaller ships in the Disney Cruise Line. Let me know which one you prefer right there in the poll and in the comments below. How do you prioritize your Disney Cruise? Is it by ship or by itinerary or something totally different? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me. Until next time, have a magical day.